Guys, welcome to San Diego, California. Jeremy's Rock School 365. I'm building a sandcastle. You know, I was really good at this. I'm joking. I was horrible at this. That's why I play guitar. So, I'm going to get into some basic chords. Um, chords that we can get through a lot of songs with. Easy chords. So we can get right in playing. So, first chord, we're going to go, I'm going to play through the chords real quick. And then uh, we'll get into the details. So, I'm going to run through all the chords I want to show you today. First chord, E minor. Second chord, G major. so you can practice these chords back to back in the section mark for you. All right, so let's get going. All right, guys, let's get digging in here. First chord is an E minor. So I reference my fingers as the index one, the middle finger is two, the ring finger is three, and the pinky is four. So for the E minor chord, and on our strings, we have E, A, D, G, B, Eddie, here's a saying for it. Eddie, a dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. So the first chord I say we're gonna do is an E minor chord. We're gonna take our second and third finger numbers, and we're gonna put our second finger on the A string, second string down, so E, A, and then I'm gonna take my third finger, and I'm gonna put it on the D string, second fret. And we're gonna strum that chord. Why I use those two fingers is I can go from an E minor chord and I can put this finger down on the G at the first fret and make it an E major chord. So you can use two different chords with that setting. So E minor, sad version of, and then you have E major, happy. Okay, next chord, we're gonna go to a G major chord, right? Second finger, third fret, E string. First finger, second fret, A string. D and G open, third fret, B string, with my third finger. Third fret, fourth finger, E string. Here's your G chord. It's all the strings, you strum all of them. Just like on the E, Minor and the E major, we're strumming all the strings. G major, strum all the strings. Anytime we add chords, all we do is add beats. So we could go one, two, three, then E major. Just to practice, and go to G. And take your time, this takes time. The next chord is uh, D. We're gonna take our first finger, put it on the G at the second fret, G string, second fret. Take my sec, uh, middle finger, second, second, number two rather. A uh, high E string, second fret. Third finger, third fret B string. I know I'm kind of going a little fast, but uh, I'm just, uh, you can rewind it and pause what you need. Here's your D chord. The shape, it's like a little triangle. We strum from the D string, not E or A, but we strum from the D string down. That's D major. Anytime it just has the chord without anything after it, it is a major chord. If it's D minor, then it's saying it's minor. For this, it says D, so it's, a D, it's saying D major. So if you see that, it just means D major. The next chord I want to go to is a C, which would be C major. And these are all very common chords, so learn these chords. So this is a C major chord. I put my third finger on the A string third fret. Second finger, I put on the D string second fret. We want the G open, B string first fret. There's 
variations of the C chord. You can do uh, you can do the you can do this G, and then a lot of people. I have a lot of beginner students that I just have to uh, C add nine, and all that. It's an easier shape. We just take the sec second finger and the first finger and move them down a set of strings to the A and D string, right? We're actually adding a D note, which adds, it adds a little bit of color to it. Instead of the this, this C, they're both C chords, they'll both work. There's normal C, and here is C at night. Either C would be fine. If you see a C chord, you can play either one. The last chord I want to go to is an F chord. And it looks just like the first, the C chord, but all we do is jump our fingers down and we'll have our third finger on the D string, third fret, our second finger on the G string, second fret, and our first finger, we'll put it on the B string, first fret. And actually, if we get the high E, it turns it into an F major seven. That's what it sounds like. So a good way to practice these chords, guys, is um, go from each chord. Go E major. Then. Sounds kind of weird. It's cool. Then G. Then we'll go to the C at nine. each chord. Give me delay. So I'm going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, just to practice some version of the strum. So you want to make sure you're fretting them really well so you can hear all the notes in the chord. Actually forgot to explain a chord. Um, a minor. Uh, let me go over that really quick. We have uh, open A string, second fret, middle finger, third uh, finger, second fret on the G. So second on the D, second on the G, first on the B string. Looks like that. That's A minor. A major is. Second, second, and second. We literally take these three fingers and put them in a row on the second fret. So open on the A, E, A, right? And I, I just honestly thought it'd be fun to shoot a video at the beach. Different scenery, why not, right? So uh, let's add those chords into a progression. So let's do, uh, let's do the song Heathens, right? Uh, it goes C, A minor, E. A minor. Great example, just open chords or strumming. And if you go really simple, one, two, one, two, one, two, four. But going back to all this, that's the progression for heathens. But going back to just the chords, we have E minor, strum it four times. Get it under your fingers, you know, try to memorize the shape, try to take a screenshot of it in your head. And go, uh, well, there's an E major if I put my finger down. Then G. C. C at nine, or C. D. A minor. A major. And then F. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and I hope this helped you on your journey of playing guitar. I did all your basic chords, a simple progression, I even touched on uh, heathens. So uh, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to comment. Smash the subscribe button, hit the bell, and uh, I'm going to go build my sandcastle. You have a great day, and stay tuned for more content to help you.